final two and a half minutes into the flight, the solid rocket boosters will drop away, and we should be able to see it. What's happened? Feet per second altitude. What happened? Miles down range distance seven nautical miles. Still going. Vic, did something strange happen then? Something is gone amiss. Something is wrong. 35 years ago today, most television networks did not carry live the launch of the space shuttle Challenger. ABC News radio broadcasters, as you just heard, described it as one of the worst days in American history. Then, President Ronald Reagan described the depth of the nation's loss by saying, in part, that the Challenger crew slipped the surly bond of Earth to touch the face of God. I recall that day so vividly. Megan, I watched the launch and explosion in my high school library. And as you know, the Challenger mission was special because a teacher was on board heading to space for the very first time. Yeah, it's so memorable, Raphael. A science teacher from Indiana was almost on that shuttle flight. He was Indiana's alternate to the nationwide contest. And I spoke with him about that moment in history. Three, two, one, and lift off. This 1986 space shuttle launch captured the nation's attention. And it has cleared the tower. In 73 seconds into the flight, the space shuttle Challenger exploded. When that terrible tragedy occurred, uh, it was like we knew something happened, we just couldn't accept that it happened. It's the nail biting moments everyone who watched it remembers. 35 years? is a long time. Indianapolis yeah, teacher Rick Crossland especially remembers the moment. To me, it just seems like it was yesterday. We remember and Rick like it was yesterday. WRTV here, interviewed him as he applied to go on this space mission. I remember when Reagan announced the teacher in space program. I had already written like five letters to, to NASA. A bunch of teachers had, because teachers are crazy. We like to do, we like to live what we teach. And the students wrote for you too. Yes. I think he deserves to go in space because he's one of the best teachers. And this science teacher from Wayne Township Schools was chosen as the alternate for the state of Indiana. When it happened, did you think that could have been me? Before I could think that, everybody who loves me and knew me called me up and said, I am so glad, Rick, you've got so many things with God has done something for you. Mission and it has cleared the tower. Instead, teacher Krista McAuliffe and six others were on board the Challenger. None of them survived. When you think of Krista McAuliffe, what do you think of? Oh, she was like everybody's teacher and, every, and, and everybody's mom. She had a perspective of what this meant. So she was representing all of us. McAuliffe's death brought mixed emotions to Crossland's mission as an educator. Really? It was a changing point for me because I rededicated myself to help teachers. And that's been my life, both kids and teachers and science education. And he taught all right. After the explosion, Crossland started giving presentations at universities and diving into how the Challenger worked. I've, I've used this with hundreds and hundreds of demonstrations. He, like many others, tried to wrap their heads around what went wrong. There was nothing anybody could have done for this one. It just stopped. And Crossland hasn't stopped. He teaches at every school in the district. His lessons help teachers teach and connect students to science. Push, man, come on. And I tell them, we will see a woman walk on the moon. I will see that before I die. And it could be you. Now, 35 years later, Crossland reflects on the explosion that could have ended his life. What do you hope people remember about the Challenger? There is a risk to discovery. Science is the way we do that. And through science, I think that we can make our world such a better place. As you know, a years long investigation found the O-ring seals used in the solid rocket booster failed during liftoff. So when I asked Crossland if he would go on another space expedition, he said he'd go tomorrow, but he wants others to go instead because they can do more with the information they collect in space, you guys. I love that story. I'm so glad that he's I around do. too to share that with us. And I love the last line there that he said, Megan, where he talked about he wants others to be able to go instead of him. So just an incredible educator from right here in Indiana. Discovery.